Hey, what is going on, Phil Psyches? It is me, your boy Psychix here, coming back with you with another Let's Play of Let's Play Lego City Undercover. Now, on our last episode, we went to the local dojo, got some training, beat up our skills, and we also managed to save Frank from... Well, he still ruined the unveiling, but we still managed to rescue the police truck from letting it fall into criminal hands. And so now, we have got our new undercover work gear, and we're going to infiltrate Cheng Chuang's gang, who is highly probable, a highly and probably connected to Rex Fury. So, we are going to go into our somewhat un undercover van here. Um, hold up. Where is the map? I think it's the minus, yeah. Okay, so we can finally go to the mainland now, and we are now going on to our next journey. Ooh, they'll cover that with insurance. Coming, just rolling up in un an unurban vehicle, black tinted windows. Very good. Now we're on our way to mainland. Ooh. I kinda cut out there. And gotta keep an eye on that gauge. So we're just gonna be driving on through. Mm-hmm. So finally here in the mainland. And there are a lot of Easter eggs here too, I heard in this game. But we're not doing that. Okay. So today work was crazy for me. Um, a lot of stuff to do over there. Very busy. Even though it was a it was a Sunday, it was very busy for me. But I managed to get through, living through hell, as you guys would put it. All right, here we are. Chase, now you're an undercover detective. I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye style monologues? No. I was disappointed, but I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thanked the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. Good luck, Chase. All right, so we got an audio scanner I now. Somewhere I can listen out for clues. All right, let's get moving. Another disguise box. Undercover chase strikes again. <laughs> yeah, so sorry but I'm a little minor disturbance there guys. So right now we are gonna go and try and see if we can listen to that audio. Okay, climbing on to... Alright. That's the easy part. Now we're trying to find a way to get up there is the question. Um... Oh. I think I'm in range. Yes. Oh, right. Tightrope. Okay... Gotta make it across, don't fall. Alright, we're good. Now, where to listen to? It branches off into three places. I'd like to order, um... Deep Pan Pepperoni with Mushrooms. No, no, no. Look, I've told you already. If you want me to paint your portrait, you will have to stay still! 
Now, do you? Uh, uh, nope. That wasn't what we wanted to hear. Uh, let's see. Her. Why am I phoning you? Bingo. Because you're late for your interview. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're meant to be a chance limo place. Get a move on. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, he was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of cubist sculptures. What does cubist mean? <laughs> Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? I busted that guy, like two years ago. If I get him out of the picture, then I could take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. Or, we can not. But, we have no choice. So basically, we already found a nice place at the interview. Now all we just need to do is just crash that guy's parade. But we can't really arrest him without him doing anything. He hasn't done anything illegal. Yet. But let's see. Where do I have to go now? Uh, let's see. All the way out there. Okay. Where's my car? Ah. Here we go. Alright, so while we're on our way to bust that guy. So let's see. I wasn't really paying attention to his name, but we'll figure out when we get there. I think his name was Bucky Brook. Brook. I really don't know. Not real. I didn't really remember his name. Much. Sorry. This is what it likes to be on the cover. Taking names, making excuses. Hopefully, we can get to that guy. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Backtrack, backtrack. Okay. And is it this way? Yeah, I believe so. I really don't know why they line the street with these studs. I mean, they do help guide you, but they're not even collectible. You're able to see... Ah, there's the check-in point. Here we are. Alright, another listen point. Let's go. Let's just take a little tap and see what we can do and find. I think it's kind of illegal though to like listen to other people's conversations. Like spy. I don't know, it's really not nice. But if you guys are try if actually planning on doing this in real life, don't do it. Please. People re respect people's privacy. What do you think of this one? Hmm. You know how they say a picture paints a thousand words? Nope, not that one. There. Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks just like the original. <laughs> it sure does. Well, see ya. <laughs> I didn't even know the gift shop sold prints. Idiot. Hey you, stop. I know you. You're that cop from years ago. 
Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. I uh, just want to talk. Uh... Yeah, there's no talking. We gotta go after that guy. Man. Now where are you going? Uh, where? Uh, room. Yep. Out of the way, people. We're in a high pursuit chase here. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't let him get away. Gotta catch up with him. Out of the way, people. Don't have no time to pay for your life insurance. We have a... We have a code blue here. We gotta run off. Yes. Gaining on him. Oh, this is fun. Okay. The, the perform all those stunts and just going crazy on him. Uh. Huh. Damn, make a hard left. Oh, this ain't gonna end well for this guy. It will end in arrest. I remember playing this mission and I am not redoing it. I remember doing it multiple times. Ugh. Oh damn the car! Yeah, this thing ain't gonna catch you ever again. Yeah, that car is total. Had to restart the mission. Yeah, he got away. Yeah, it looks like I have to wait for the restart. Yes! Got him. Stop! Or I will keep running after you! Got him. Oh man! Why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. Sheesh! I don't like to tell people how to do their own job. But if you're gonna arrest me for anything, it, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool! Huh? Oh, sausages. Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. Alright, mission accomplished. So we managed to take care of him. I am so light. Now we just need to go and get to that job interview. And I just hope Chase has some kind of convincing story to make them think that we are Bucky. I thought that thing was made of Legos. And I'm just doing more damage to my vehicle than I thought I am. Okay. Wow. Out of the way, people. I don't have time to take down your life insurance. Ooh. Out of the way, move it. I no time for you. Yeah, they want me to tell me watch the road rage or something. I know how to drive. Well, not in real life, but in Lego. That is gonna leave a dent. Yep, it sure will leave a dent. But do I care? No! Alright, here we are. Uh -oh. And here we made it for the interview. You're the new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Haha, <laughs> that's more like it. Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car. Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you. And Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem. Because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower. And be polite. 
He's our only customer. Gotcha. Forrest Blackwell, the multi-billionaire. We're gonna be driving him. This might be something. And we are so gonna be late. Hopefully we're not. We got two minutes to get to our stop. So I gotta drive like a madman. Sorry, I ain't gotta drive like a madman. You crazy? This is a limousine. We gotta show up in style. Let's check. With all that swag. Oh crap. No, we didn't have no time for swag. We gotta get done now. Hey, watch it, buddy. This just got a fresh paint job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arrive in the limousine. We got two minutes to spare. Yeah, Watch sir. it. Uh, will I make it? Yeah, sorry, my I'm not really sorry. Nope. Oh, we're almost there. Thank goodness. Oh, will we make it in time? Ooh, super build. But we got no time for that. Hey, hey! Watch it. With a minute to spare. Take you, sir. Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox. Oh no, we're being followed, yes. Uh. Trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. Oh god, this guy is really just divine. Just listening to this conversation right now. Can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So... Uh, oh gosh, these paparazzi don't give up? Regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individual. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore. We have no way get of getting the these line. guys away or from you know us. Mad. <laughs> yes. yes. Mad. Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather... Oh, goodness. I hope we can get to that soon oh, before time runs out. Oh, I think we're already here. Get out of the way before I r run you off the road. Is that the time? We're here. Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. Okay, we did it. Mission accomplished, I think. Okay. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. 
Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person, and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Oh. A thousand pens. From a child. With a limp. Excellent. Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chan. Oh great, so now we have to go meet some people in that dark alleyway? That doesn't really bode well for me. I mean, you could get seriously mugged in, a, in, a, in a, um, an alleyway. Like, People sometimes try to say, Oh no, it's quicker to cut through this place, but usually with just about gangs and stuff like that. That really, something sometimes bad happens. Okay, so we made it to the dark alley. We hope we don't get jacked. Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. <laughs> Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> What do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! <laughs> First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here? Okay, so Chan wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. Okay. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh, I don't think I've ever pooped a party before. Police business. Well, this is something. That guy got some serious anger issues and that is... He's way serious than the last time I remember him. Oh well, so now we have to get to the salvage yard. Still think we got time for that. Ain't we got time for that? <laughs> I used to remember that was a thing. I don't know if it's still a thing, but not much people do that anymore. Okay. So now all we have to do is get to the salvage yard. I mean, oh wait, first of all, did you guys see the way how the bunny just went savage and attack him? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And funny. <laughs> so now we're just driving along. I hate when cars just, you just shift like that. It just, they, they were trying to get yourself ran over or something okay ah now I know this place we're here so that's the car we're supposed to steal it ain't fair that we have to guard this place yeah you know we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool maybe if they started playing some decent music, and serve up some food. Alright, so we basically got what we're supposed to do. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it here for this episode, because I remember this is being all, this part being a lot longer. So, if you guys have really enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like, 
comment down below let me know what you guys are thinking also join my discord server if you guys just want to hang out and hit that subscription button if you just want to stay up to date with my gaming content L L K. so yeah uh-huh <laughs> so anyways i hope you guys stay freaky and this has been cytrix later